That autistic bitch, Greta Thunberg, she is way too autistic to understand something as complicated as the Israeli-Palestine conflict. However, she knew exactly what she was doing with the autism octopus. So Greta Thunberg posted this on her Instagram. It's like pretty innocuous, right? She was holding signs, stand with Gaza, this Jew stands with Palestine, free Palestine, climate justice now. She also posted this to Twitter. Week 270, today we strike in solidarity with Palestine and Gaza. The world needs to speak up and call for an immediate ceasefire. Justice and freedom for Palestinians and all civilians affected. This drama all started because of a now deleted tweet by Brent Punked UA. What does the Kraken next to you on the couch mean, Greta Thunberg? The Kraken was and is a well-known sign of the hashtag Nazis for the anti-Semitic term international finance Judaism. In this photo context, you definitely should explain yourself ASAP. Hashtag Greta Thunberg. Hashtag never forget. So if people are unaware of this octopus, this is a reversible octopus plushie for autistic people who have a problem displaying their emotions. Like you can get them in many different kinds. It doesn't have to be an octopus. You get the shark, you get the wolf, fox, gay cat unicorn. Come, they come in all sizes. It takes a village. So here is uh, Greta Thunberg putting an anti-Semitic dog whistle on one of her friend's heads. As you can see, Paracycles Abbasi said, Greta Thunberg gave me an autism octopus. It's actually really wholesome. So Andy No said, climate change activist celebrity Greta Thunberg has deleted a pro-Gaza photo after people pointed out the use of a blue octopus toy prop in the background. Historical Nazi propaganda depicted a Jewish octopus with tentacles all over the world. <laughs> they really went with this. So here we have Ollie London. Great opinions this man has. This is the anti-Semitic cartoon originating from 1938 Nazi Germany that is perceived as being offensive and hateful. Do you think Greta Thunberg knew exactly what she was doing, having the octopus toy behind her so she could get maximum media exposure? And here's uh, Nathan Con Kofnes. The Jewish octopus is one of the few anti-Semitic tropes that isn't completely imaginary. The only thing less subtle would be a bag of gold or coins. Greta's explanation, the toy in the picture is a tool often used by autistic people as a way to communicate feelings, makes no sense. The photo is carefully staged, and not by her. She, of course, has no clue what's going on. Not impossible that one of her Palestinian rights handlers thought this would be amusing. In any case, when it comes to anti-Semitism, the Overton window is widening every month. This is crazy because this guy was basically saying that autistic bitch, Greta Thunberg, she is way too autistic to understand something as complicated as the Israeli-Palestine conflict. However, she knew exactly what she was doing with the autism octopus. So here are, here are some of the comments from that. Jonathan Pallison said, from what I have seen, dog whistles are never true. I am confident this is no exception. Even if it did look suspicious, that is bound to happen by chance sometimes. To which Nathan responds, the principle that dog whistles are never true is absurd. There are many widely held beliefs that are politically unacceptable, so people express them in ways that allow for plausible deniability. And another user said, are you serious? To which Nathan responds, do you believe the octopus is there because it helps autistic people to communicate feelings? And let, let's go back to the beginning. In these photos, Greta isn't really clearly expressing anger here, right? She's trying to use the octopus to express anger. She has a very flat effect. So here's another user. Was very skeptical of this at first. Just realized now the octopus is placed on the knee of the person behind Greta, not on the couch. This is not where you casually place a toy when you just put it away. Accommodation. This looks very deliberate. <laughs> 
I would love to, I, if I had a time machine, I would love to go back in time and meet up with the creator of the autism octopus and tell them that their toy is going to become an anti-Semitic dog whistle. <laughs> if the octopus was on like a model of the globe, I get it. But what the fuck is this? The octopus is primarily used with the globe and propaganda. Yeah, it's just, it's so fucking goofy. So here's an article from Politico. Israeli official slams Greta Thunberg after she backs Palestinians in Gaza. Israeli army spokesperson apologizes after saying, whoever identifies with Greta in any way in the future, in my view, is a terror supporter. Over the autism octopus. The New York Post, Greta Thunberg deletes pro-Palestinian posts featuring anti-Semitic trope, claims she was completely unaware. Greta Thunberg was targeted for an octopus, then Israel chimed in. Social media accounts initially went after the young climate activists for a plush octopus that appeared in the background of her Stand with Gaza post, Rolling Stone. So here's another user. I criticized Greta Thunberg yesterday for calling for a ceasefire without mentioning the hostages taken by Hamas. But I seriously doubt she knows enough about history or the history of anti-Semitism to have intentionally inserted an octopus dog whistle. What do you guys think? And here's Cryokeen, Greta Thunberg riding a blue octopus. I love AI art so much. <laughs> I, I I didn't like AI art at first, but then shit like this started to happen, and I'm 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 for it. I feel like artists today would not make this. So this is Ugopnik from the D Program Pod saying, "Marshall Greta, our lives are at your disposal," and they put like the Hamas symbol on a headband, on the octopus, on the globe, unlimited genocide on the first world. And then in the corner, you have an octopus of Marx, Engels, Lenin, Stalin, and Mao. This is actually what it would look like if it was anti-Semitic propaganda, though. This is actually anti-Semitic here. Yugopnik took it from just, like, funny, goofy, and then literally put the octopus on the globe. I, I laughed, but I do think that this was taking it too far. Like, this is like when um the person in my Discord, they put a Keffel's Wiggler on a mug, and then they made, like, a paper clan hat that said, like, Grand Noodle Dragon and put it on the cup, and people got pissed and blamed me when I, I had no part in that. That was too far for the noodle joke. All right, so we're going to Reddit now in r slash conspiracy. Greta Thunberg has finally come out in support of Gaza, and people are saying that the octopus in the picture she tweeted is a deliberately placed anti-Semitic symbol. I thought she was a Rothschild shill. I have no clue what to believe these days. Bad actors are everywhere. What do you guys think? If you're wondering why Greta Rothschild Thunberg is siding with Gaza over Rothschild-founded Israel, consider the fact that the Rothschilds are Sab Sabbatean Frankists, occultist Satanists, who practiced the left-hand path, black magic. <laughs> they were rejected by the Jewish rabbis, plus seek the extinction of Jews. Jesus Christ, people are... These people should never have been let in the kitchen. What they are cooking is foul. So here's another tweet. Really? Greta's octopus is offensive? Ridiculous. And we got the various depictions of octopus. We got Germany. We got England. We got the US on Barbados. We got communism going over Europe. We got Russia, Mongolia. We got Japan. I can't believe all of this discourse happened just because of an autism octopus. So Greta Thunberg, after all of this discourse, responded. It has come to my knowledge that the stuffed animal shown in my earlier post can be interpreted as a symbol for anti-Semitism, which I was completely unaware of. The toy in the picture is a tool often used by autistic people as a way to communicate feelings. We are, of course, against any type of discrimination and condemn anti-Semitism in all forms and shapes. This is non-negotiable. That is why I deleted the last post. She obviously got bullied into this. She did not do anything wrong. However, look what's in the background of a speaking engagement by Mike Pence. Do you notice anything? What is with these octopi? This is saying a lot. This is saying so much. Wait, is this Keir Starmer? 
I'm I'm look, I I've only been in Northern Ireland for like six months. I'm still wrapping my head around the politics here. That's Keir Starmer? Wow. I can't believe that Keir Starmer also did this. This is fucked up. So in conclusion. There's no conclusion. People are fucking insane. Let's, let's be real. There is no takeaway. There is nothing to be learned from this information other than people are just fucking insane. We have learned nothing from this. We have not grown as people. But at least we had some laughs.